The Hidalgo County Democratic Chairman has been closely watching the events unfold in Philadelphia from here in the Valley. CBS 4's Patrick Shelby are live outside our Far McAllen newsroom with more on the Chairman's reaction to the convention so far. Patrick. Marcy, in just a few moments, Democrats will be choosing their nominee for President of the United States. Right now, both Democrats, excuse me, Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders, not delegates, are choosing, are on the convention floor for a roll call of the votes. Last night in Philadelphia, high profile speakers took to the podium, including First Lady Michelle Obama and Bernie Sanders. The first day was marred by the resignation of DNC Chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz over internal emails that were leaked. Despite it all, Hidalgo County Democratic Party Chairman Ricardo Godinez says it wasn't a surprise to see delegates so divided. A good portion was angry uh, about the, the release of the emails and what they showed. But then again, as we start comparing Bernie Sanders' um, campaign and his platform to Hillary Clinton, it very it became very, very clear that they're very similar, they're on the same path, and they're completely divergent from the Republican platform. You didn't have that, obviously, the, the next front in the Republican side, the next front runner being uh, Ted Cruz, and he never warmed up to, to Trump or, uh, or endorsed him for that matter. Last night proved that the DNC was geared toward love, hope, and uniting the country rather than preying on the fear. Right now, there has been a bit of turbulence at the convention floor, but Hillary Clinton is expected to receive the nomination for president of the United States. But again, Bernie Sanders supporters making sure that their voices are heard. Outside the Fort McAllen newsroom, Patrick Shalvier, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.